Well, you heard his name a lot right there in the open. Yes, Justin Dearden is our minor league performer of the week. Justin, what a week. Thanks for joining us. That was an amazing week you put together. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So am I correct here? Two grand slams in that week as well? Two. Two grand slams, yep. <laughs> so when you're seeing the ball that good, what's, make, what's working for you? Yeah, um, I think a lot of it was just being able to really simplify kind of what I'm doing at the plate um, mechanically and um, it really allowed me to be on time a little bit more to the fastball. Um, that really helped me kind of see the pitches a little bit deeper, especially with the off speeds from the lefties and, you know, the change ups and things of that nature and just trying to line drive. Yeah, and you also made that great uh, catch in center field as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we were talking a little bit before you hopped on, uh, getting to know you a little bit. I love your opposite field power, too. Uh, have you always been a guy who can drive the ball the other way like that? Yeah, um, kind of, I, I would say pride myself on it for sure. Um, that really allows me to stay inside the ball um, 100%, um, allow me to see it a little bit deeper. Um, you know, I'm, I don't really care too much whether or not it goes out to left, right, you know, it doesn't really matter to me or, um, you know, where that ball des decides to go. But, you know, I'm just trying to get a barrel on it and see where it goes. Yeah, well, clearly uh, you just you can turn on the ball too. So you know you've been up a little bit, but you've also been in the minor leagues for a bit of time, uh, and you've played with the shift rule. Uh, how, how different have, has that been an advantage, and have you really noticed a difference? Uh, particularly, we're seeing it in the big leagues now, but you've played with it in the minor leagues. Has that helped you as a left-handed hitter? Yeah. Um... I haven't noticed a great deal of difference per se. Um, you know, I, I do try to pride myself on trying to stay as much as I can to left left center field. Um, but there is a few times, obviously, you know, you might get the the, the rollover change up, or you might be out in front on a lefty slider or whatever it may be, and be able to squeak one through for an RBI or whatever it may be. So I think those definitely have, have played in my favor as a lefty for sure, and I'm sure as other guys as well. Yeah. You know, I found it interesting. 2020, we got hit with COVID, and the draft went from. The 60 rounds to 20 rounds, it really shrunk. And a lot of guys got left out of being drafted. You were one of those guys. And they offered $20,000 bonuses for guys to sign. Why did you take that option? Um, I took that option just um, based off of age, really. Um, that was going to be, I think that was, what, my fifth year in college down at Southeast Missouri State. Um, you know, and I could have went back to school. Um, I could have finished out my degree. Well, actually, I did finish out my degree. I could have went for maybe a master's or something of that nature. But, um, you know, the dream was always to just play ball. Um, it, you know, I've, I've said this a few times before. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I mean, it matters a little bit. But once you're on the field, compared to a first rounder or a second rounder to a free agent, you know, you're just a guy playing ball. Uh, you know, you get that opportunity and, you know, see what you can do with it. Yeah, no, you bet on yourself and, and the opportunity was there. And really, it's just like you said, it's getting in a door and getting mm -hmm. a chance to get that opportunity to play and perform. I tell you what, well, you had an amazing week in five games, four home runs, four doubles, smashing the ball everywhere. Continued success. I'm sure the Astros are looking down at you at AAA right there going, we're going to get him back up here. And uh, I know you're confident you can help that big club. So keep it going. What do you feel like you need to do? Last word from you to get called up to the big leagues. Yeah, um, I think it's just consistency at this point. You know, I kind of throughout my career, I've shown a little bit what I can do, you know, left center, right center, putting the ball in play, whether I got to put down a bun or whatever it is. And I think just going out there, showing that I can do it every single day is, is really going to be the key for me. Well, they know who you are. They know where you're at. And I'm sure they're going to come get you. Congratulations, yep, man. Keep it going. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.